If you guys need ultimate team coins, then go and check out x3game.com. The link will be down in the description. Use code CAPGUN to get yourself a discount. Also, if you need some G Fuel for this weekend, need to give yourself that extra boost to get you through your games, then go and get yourself some G Fuel from gfuel.com. Link in the description. Use code CAPGUN there as well to get another discount. You right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome back to another episode of Team Takedown. Now today we are going to be looking at a, maybe like a flashback kind of S card. We're going to be looking at Prime Balak and we're going to be using him as if he's a Chelsea card. Now this is a fantastic card. It was one of the first Prime icons to be released and a lot of people said it would be Endgame. I think he probably is just about Endgame. However, because, you know, he came out so long ago, people got bored of using him. I still think he's a fantastic player. He has over 80 on every single stat. And he has 4 star, 4 star, which is pretty epic. He has 6, well, he's 6 foot 2. I mean, this card is nutty. It literally is nutty. So we're going to be using him as a Chelsea card today. I guess to demonstrate the links, we'll be using Rudiger or someone like that. And uh, we need an opponent for today's episode. So we're going to meet up with our boy, Jack54. Hello, how's it going everybody? Jack, you're quickly becoming my arch nemesis in this series. Um, <laughs> you seem to be able to continually take down my team. Hopefully today is going to be slightly different. Um, we are at the tail end of FIFA guys, so neither of us really want to put any FIFA points on. I do have a couple of 50k packs, so what we're going to do is I'm going to save a, a 50k pack for Jack's video. Uh, the way we're going to open this pack is I'll choose two players from inside the pack, and then give Jack a number and he'll randomly choose which one he's going to have. So fingers crossed there's a couple of halfway decent players in this 50k. There's definitely no walkout, so that's not a good start. Oh, and no. we've got a bit of board action. Spanish goalkeeper can't use that. That's going to be a Dan. We need players that aren't German, not from the Prem, and also not a goalkeeper. So can't use him, can't use him. Um, there is mm, a very poor selection, I won't lie. Very, very poor selection in this pack. It's because there's nothing in packs. There is <clears> nothing, <throat> nothing in packs, in packs indeed. Um, I'm going to choose two of the most difficult players in the pack, Jack. And uh, we're going to go with it. So this is player number one. And this is player number two. So Jack, would you like one or two? Uh, I'll go for one. You have picked yourself <laughs> Nani. From Orlando City, so welcome to the MLS Hybrid oh of Dreams, my God. I am going to be using none other than Gary Medell, Chilean from the Turkish League. So wow. equally, equally as difficult, you might say. Okay, so uh, we're going to have an interesting. I'm thinking at this, in, at this sort of like the end of FIFA, guys. We're more about trying to build an interesting team and challenge ourselves rather than you know just build a super power squad and uh, do whatever. So I will unfortunately most likely have these two players touching, which is not great. Yeah, um, no, I'm going to probably... So I'll be allowed to use Balak for, like, as his icon chemistry. No, so what you have to do is when you build your squad, put Rudiger in and act like the links that the Rudiger is getting are the links that that Balak would get. Okay, got you. Okay, so I'm currently spinning Jack, so tell me when to stop. Stop. 4-4-2 four, four, deep. It's not the end of the world. The links are relatively easy, and it does actually kind of suit Balak and Medell, so that's all right. We'll, we'll work with that. Okay, I am going to be spinning now. And stop. 4-3-3 three, three, third variation, so I'm actually quite happy. It's, um, it's a fairly easy uh, team to build. Actually. Yeah, like, I would imagine. The links are very, very simple. So. Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to try and challenge ourselves in other ways then, as we've both got something going on. Anyway, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to head into the squad builder section. If you'd like to see the teams, uh, just keep on watching. But if you don't want to see the teams so that you can play along at home, then now is the time to look away and wait for me to say look back. So look away now. Right, so these are the two completed squads. As you can see, I put Rudiger in to sort of like demonstrate the chemistry links and how it's all going to work. Um, yeah, I think we might be ready to go and get into some guessing, Jack. Let's do it, mate. I'm excited. And if you were looking at where you are now, welcome to look back as we have removed and reversed the teams and we are ready to get into some guessing as the guest jack. You get to go first, so take us away. Okay. Um, Jeez. I just don't even know where to start, to be honest. Um, I will start at your right striker spot. Okay. 
one thing I've found from looking through the Turkish league, it's very devoid of any good players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. Not wrong. Um. Okay, uh, so I'm going to say, does your right striker link to your left striker? He does. He does. Mm -hmm. Strikers in the Super League, there is Diane, whatever the hell is it, how you, how you pronounce his name, then there's Yilmaz, Bordiega, I don't really think you would have used anyone else. Is that no one else that's worth using? Like, at all. So if you was to use Yilmaz, you would have to link off with Tosin. I'm gonna say, is your right striker from the Premier League? He's not. He's not. I just don't know. Uh, we're just gonna go for. Oh man, I, oh, I actually don't know. Uh, all right, we're just gonna go for Yilmaz. It's not Yilmaz, no. Cool beans. We're through to the next round. No right. Idea. I'm gonna go with your left CDM. I'm gonna say, does he link at all to Nani? Uh, yes. Is he Portuguese? Yeah. Okay, so we're now looking at Portuguese midfielders. There are some good ones that you could link across in the Premier League. To that Chelsea Balak. Let me just have a look and see if any really, really spring out at me. Midfielders. Concept. In fact, you know what we'll do. We'll do CMs. Concepts. Ciao Mario would be a very Jack 54 thing to do, but he would be at CDM, wouldn't he? Which doesn't look great. So maybe not. I'm not playing against Andy, although I think that Jack has probably used Andre Gomez against me before. We're going to discount him. I'm just going to say. Do you have Renato Sanchez? I hate you. Yeah. <clears throat> I do. It's just a very it's a very very jack jack way of starting to hybridize up the team to put Renato Sanchez in. That's really good for me. Really good. Because you've probably gone quite strong players everywhere else. I will go with your Left back. Is your left back. Does your left back strong link to Renato Sanchez? No. Okay. Is he or does he have a team of the season card? No. Right. Now you could have gone. Portugal right backs here outside of the Bundesliga. So it can't be. Ver See, the thing is, there isn't really all that many exciting looking players. And why would you take Renato Sanchez if you weren't going to sort of go into the Bundesliga? Just stay in and do Portugal things. I'm trying to think if there's any good Portuguese. No, there's not really. Portuguese. Oh, mo oh, okay, this makes more sense now because most likely you've gone with like a better German centre mid from Bayern Munich, maybe? Okay, let's pick a. I think that Portugal's a de dead shout. Let's go with a Bundesliga player. Bundesliga left backs that don't have a team of the season. Hmm. And doesn't strong link. I'm going to say, have you used. Vendel. No. Okay. I have not. Okay. 
So, you literally could have just gone and got a perfect link as your two strikers. Or you could have gone German, which I didn't really think about stupidly. Um, but I'm going to go for your right midfield this time. Um, okay. And I'm going to say, are they German? They're not. Okay. Um, do they play in the Premier League? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Sucks. I just don't have any more questions. Um. So you could have gone like Willian and then got a perfect Brazilian link up top. You could have gone Pedro and then got a perfect Spanish link up top. I don't think you would have been wise enough to you. Well, I don't think you would have used Rodrigo at centre back. So I think you do need links though for. I think you do need links for Rodiger. I, I don't know if it, it's too obvious to go for a Chelsea right mid. Um, so we're going to go for. Makes sense. What actually makes sense? Do you have De La Feu? I don't have De La Feu, no. Okay. I feel like I'm doing all right here. I'm going to go for your striker. Yep. I'm going to say, is he Portuguese? No. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Now, it could be an icon or it could be an MLS striker. Let's have a look and see if there's any strikers that kind of make even the smallest amount of sense to put into this team. Wayne Rooney. Wouldn't make a lot of sense. It's also a squad building challenge card. There's usually a cam. Oh no, there's a Team of the Week version there. Hum. David Villa and Thiago maybe? That might work. Hmm. There's camera there. I don't know if you'd be able to use him. I don't think the English players really work out. I'm trying to think how you'd do it because you obviously still need a link. Well, I mean, you could have a strong link to Renato Sanchez, couldn't you? I guess I'll go with... Is your striker... English? No. Okay. We have to fall back. Don't think there's any way that you're going to get Ibrahimovic into this team. But you could use Pedro, David Villa, and then Thiago through the middle. That might make sense. So I'm going to have to say, I mean, you could have any icon here, but I'm going to say, have you got David Villa? No. That's frustrating. Okay, your turn. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to go for your right back. Okay. Are they in the Prem? No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are they You're... Brazilian or Spanish? No. God, be giving me that. 
Jazz got not not even got a Scooby Doo of what's going on at the moment by the looks of it. It's because you. Oh, it's just like. Let's do anything. It's impossible. It's impossible. Probably got an icon then at right striker. That's probably what you've got. You have to. There's like literally no other way it's po physically possible, unless you've got Rudiger at right centre back. <laughs> what have I done, Jack? You tell me. No, I'm not going to tell you. That would ruin the game. <laughs> yeah, though. Uh, okay. Let me just look at potential right mids in the Prem and then what you could have like, done. This is going to be the most out there guess I've probably ever, ever <laughs> said. But do you have Atal? I don't have a towel, no. And I know why you said that, because I did actually consider him at did one you actually... point. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It's just not the worst <laughs> guess, not the worst guess, no. Okay. I'm gonna go for. What am I gonna go for now? I'm gonna go for your centre mid. Safety. Right. Let me just have a look at the Germans that play for Bayern Munich. Doesn't necessarily... I think it probably is. Because I think you're probably going to want a strong link here. In fact, I'm almost certain. One of the one of the two side players definitely strong links. I'm almost certain of it. And then has to link to the other one. So, Portuguese for Chelsea doesn't make any sense. Because Deco don't play for them no more. Not as well, Morelos. Ah, this is true. Way. Yeah, I know. Um, so that means I think the strong link has to come for the right side. So we're looking at German Bayern players. Because I think what you might have done is whap Debra up front and then use Alessandrini or something at right, right wing. So, if I go Germans, Bundesliga, midfield, FC Bayern... Is there anyone other than Goretzka, really, that's going to play there? No, I'm just going to have to say, do you have Goretzka? No. Okay, fair play. Right, that's your safety dead. <laughs> uh, You've got enough go, haven't you? Got that. Uh, I have indeed. Right. I'm going to go for your right wing. And I'm going to ask, does he link to Rudiger at all? No. Out on his own. He's out on his own. So, either you've got an icon at striker that then strong links via the nation, or you've got a striker from the MLS and they strong link either through team or a nation link in the league. So, let's have a look at what we could have. I'm probably going to discount icons because if you've used one, I'm in all kinds of problems. I just don't even know. I'm just going to try and remember as many of these as possible. And then have a look at the right midfielders slash right wingers to see what kind of springs out of me. Mexico and LAFC. Scottish, you're not going to get. You've not got a Scooby of getting that in. I really just think it's going to be Alessandro. And that's what I think it's going to be. So, how can I ask this? Is your player... <sighs> French or Mexican? Yes. Maybe I should have made it so that I didn't have to pick between the two now. I'm just going to have to say, do you have Alessandrini? No. I can't believe that. Who the hell have you used a striker then? Right. What? So you've got a Mexican, so it's not Alessandrini. So I guess it must be Vela. Should we go for your right centre-back, mate? 
Um, sure. Do they get a strong link to Badak? No. You ratty man, Jack54. I said he's a, he's a rat, he? <laughs> he's a rat. We've got a rat in the mix. Look at this. He's blatantly used the rubbish, rubbish one and Tuna and still used Ebra. Oh, so frustrating. So... Oh, dirty. Dutty, dutty Jack 54. I just still don't know what on earth you've done. So basically my thinking is that your right mid and your right centre back have to be the same nation. Okay. Because I've that or you've got an icon at your right back spot. I just I just really don't know. Is your right centre back English? No. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you have Shaw? No, I don't. I hate you so much. I thought that I, I thought I got that then. Lucky, right? Okay. I'm gonna go for any money you've got like close for a striker. Um, I'm gonna go for your right centre back. Okay. How many guys are left, by the way? Two. Does he strong link to Rudiger? Yeah. He does. Now, does he play... Well, not to Rudiger, I mean to Balak. Now, does he play for Chelsea, where there are six different options? Or is he German, which would leave Rudiger and Mustafi? I can't really, I don't really understand how this works out. But I'm going to say, is your player... Brazilian, Spanish or Danish? Yeah. Aspi? Luis? Christensen? I don't think there's any Danish players in the Bundesliga that play centre-back. Brazilian would be easy. As P just looks, I don't know. It just doesn't. I mean, either way, I'm not really that inspired in this one-on-three flip. So, which one do we go for? Let's go for. Have you used David Luiz? No. Oh, for Christ's sake, man. <sighs> okay, right, let's just flip and get someone. We're going to go for your goalkeeper, mate. My goalkeeper. Okay. Right. Have you called your safety yet or not? No, I haven't, and I'm not going to either. <laughs> That's good then. So I'm definitely nowhere near what, obviously, yeah. Uh, Done, so. <laughs> it's always good to know. Uh, okay, are they? Do they have a team of the season? No. Are they an icon? No. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a miserable game for you, Jack. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, do you have? Courtois. No, I don't. All right. Put me out my think... misery now. <laughs> Put me out my misery now. Okay, so here we go, Jack. Here is my completed team. Um, so at striker, I did have closer to get me a strong link. At right mid, I had 
Musonda's Chelsea card. Right, right back. Munier. So I've already got Balak on full chem at this point. Munier at right back. And then uh, Kimpembe at the right centre back. I have Lafont in goal. I've used, I had to use a silver card because, yeah, it was just really difficult to make this team without pick. Because all of the Besiktas players in the random positions are just bad nations, like the ones that connect to him. Yeah. That's why, yeah, because I didn't want to go with, I didn't want to go with Yilmaz because you guessed him. I knew you yeah. would guess him. So um, I've used Izzy Matt Murin, who's the, the French geezer from um, Besiktas. And then uh, I've got left back, I've got uh, Laporte's in form card. I've got Alexis Sanchez playing left mid, and then I've got Paredes's team of the season at uh, striker. I actually looked at Paredes as well. Uh, mm. You will see. It was close. I swear I, that I that was literally. I went through quite a few of them options, and I feel like it was just a matter of like split decision in my head that I made, yeah. and like just yeah, didn't yeah. go through. It was just by chance. That's so annoying. Yeah. That is annoying. <sighs> okay, well, um, I've got Nani, obviously left wing. Striker, I've got Dos Santos. Right okay. wing, I've got Vea. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cam, I've got Muller. Obviously, left CDM, I've got Renato Sanchez. Right CDM, I've got Balak. Then I've got Rui <sighs> at left back. Uh, Bellerin at right back. Uh, Izzo and Azpi as two centre backs. And then I've got Sirigu in goal. You've got Muller at Cam. Well, as at centre mid, sorry. And it's his Cam card you're using. Yeah. I yeah. see. I was about to call you up on rules because I was like, have I chosen the wrong formation? Because he's definitely a centre mid in the middle. <laughs> no. um, okay, understood. Yeah, okay, that's fair play. Um, the only player I did manage to get was your Renato Sanchez. Yep. Um, so, yeah, you're going to have to remove him. I can't believe that I didn't check. Because I went to midfielders, German midfielders, from Bayern Munich, and I got the thing where it didn't show Müller because he defaults as a, as a centre forward, even though he's got a card that is a midfield card and would have been able to be used in this situation. He yeah. didn't pop up for me, so I only thought I had one choice. Because so I didn't really think you'd use Koretska, because it's quite obvious. But well played, mate. Well played. What we'll do now, guys, we'll go away and we'll buy the rest of the players, and then we will dive straight into a game against each other to see who can come out on top. Let's do it. All right, so here we go into the game. Ooh, that bronzy looked beautiful, man. Got some chemistry up in that place. Ah, oh, you did go Mario Rui. Yeah, boy. You pig. Oh, <laughs> I, just, I wish I'd flip in. I knew close. I just knew it. Has Pelaqueta really? Why did I not say him? Tom, just always say the best player from now on, and you'll get a lot more right. Stop yeah, I just, that's why I just guessing had to go him because. It's like the, second guess. the double bluff, isn't it, kind of thing? Mm. Hide in plain sight. Well, good luck, Jack. You too, mate. You too. What Carlos Velo card is that? Um, no, player of the month or something. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that. he's got so much space. Oh, no! What? I'm what? standing by that. Guy. <laughs> I thought it was offside, like massively offside. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I bet you will. That close is going, mate. Oh, oh, Paredes! Never used this car before. Didn't even have to time that. You banged it, mate. It was closer. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. That makes more sense now. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. That was a bad. That was a nice finish, man. I think closer, closer. The king of the good finish, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Decent. Come on. Oof. Space, and he's back in. The Nets. That's Let's Paredes. Go. That's Paredes right there. Alright, okay. Oh, no. Come yes. on, go in the back. Yes. Of Let's go. I see that, man. Beautiful run. It's closer. He don't miss, mate. He don't miss. If you need someone to convert chances into goals, this guy <sighs> is the one for you. Hey, stop this, Jack. I know what you're doing. You're in. I'm going to. I'm going to slide you no matter where you are on the pitch mode. <laughs> We've mugged him off. Oh, oh and for good reason God. because that is a great save. But honestly, should we put him that wide? <clears throat> yeah, he's come out of the yellow cars that you know build, building up. 
It's lucky you can only get one at a time, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so here are the half-time stats. I mean, um, unbelievable. I mean, it's been pretty stat pretty similar, but the finishing from the boys up top has just been on point this game. Yeah. Wow. Oh. 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 Go on! Oh, he's there! He's in on it again! How? But Closer. He is just literally the best, most clinical striker on the entire game, apparently. Look at that. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I'm in a lot of trouble here. Oh my god, Carlos Vera with an absolute stinker. Absolute stinker, mate. What is he doing there? I've not even saved it. Unbelievable. <sighs> oh, I've just been absolutely failed like a, I failed a treat there. There we go. Mugged him off earlier and now he scored. Do I love him? <sighs> Jesus, man. Oh, oh, oh my god, are you actually sure? Game. That's not where he pressed. Oh, that's a good save from the font. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord, stop! <laughs> oh my god, Jack. Please. Oh, Have this is incredible. On them. You've got to bring a bit of fun into it when this game can't even pass you the ball. Alright, there we go. Final whistle is 5-1. Brutal. I feel for Jack. That was just not... He's I had mean... three shots and three goals. I mean... It's just one of those, isn't it? It's just one of them game of FIFA. Oh, roll on FIFA 20. Roll on FIFA 20, that's what I'm saying. Bring it on. By the time I get back from my honeymoon, FIFA 20 will be coming out and I'll be raring and ready to go for another season. Yeah. This game can go in the bin! In the bin! Five discards coming Jack's way, let's go get into it. Alright, your team's mixed up, Jack? Yep. Here we go. <laughs> left wing, right wing, striker, left CDM and right CDM? How are we thinking? <laughs> <We're done. laughs> You've literally got away with bloody murder again, haven't you? <laughs> Wait, how many discards was it? Oh yeah, well, an extra one because of the... Yeah, because of the safety. Okay, so... Uh... Bronze was le left CDM. And that was Renato Sanchez. Yeah, so do I need to go and buy Renato Sanchez? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just get rid of him quickly. Uh, then it was Dos Santos. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, Azpi. <laughs> Again, not Nani. Much. Nothing. And then, was it right CDM? Yeah. Bellerin. Wow. Literally nothing. So you've lost probably 15k on Azpi. And, I mean, if you're buying the Renato Sanchez card, I think he's 10k anyway. And he discards for 10, so what's the point? What's the blooming point of that? For, all, for nothing. Wow. Is there any point me buying it if he discards for 10? No. Literally none. Not at all, mate. Okay. Right, fair enough. You've got away with blooming murder, but I've got to say that FIFA... FIFA 19's on the back burner, as I'd say. Yeah. Doesn't really matter I guess because these accounts are going to be dead in a week or two so it doesn't really matter what we've got on them at the end of the day does it? It's a, set, it's a shame but bring on FIFA 20 you know the action is going to be uh, pretty spicy then because no one's going to be wanting to discard any players at that point so guys I hope you've enjoyed if you have thumbs up check out the video on Jack's channel link down in the description um, subscribe if you're new around here thanks for coming on Jack no worries mate it was a good laugh and uh, we'll see you next time peace peace